And our pinpoint weather team coverage continues on the impact of the strong winds that we had during the past overnight hours and into the early morning. So there are still some lights out. One of uh, the intersections in Pawtucket here had police directing traffic while the power was being restored. Brandon Truitt has been monitoring the cleanup today and the damage out there. He joins us now live with what he's seeing around the area this noon time. Brandon. Hey, Danielle, good afternoon. What a difference a couple hours can make, right? You remember what we were facing this morning? Now the sun is out. The winds have calmed down quite a bit. Right now, though, it's all about the recovery. We are here on Foundry Street in Central Falls as national grid crews here are working to repair that pole. This storm affecting nearly every corner of the state. An overnight storm leaving its mark. Strong winds packing a punch as they whip through our area. In Coventry, a tree falling into this home on Sherwood Valley Drive, crashing through the roof and tearing off part of the siding. In Lincoln, winds causing even more trees to tumble. This one blocking the entrance of Route 146 South. RIDOT working in high gear today, cleaning up scenes like this across the state. Traffic and street lights were out for nearly all of the morning commute. Police officers were seen assisting drivers in finding detours around closed roads and fallen trees. At its peak, more than 40,000 customers were without power in Rhode Island. That number slowly getting better. Crews waiting on the gust to calm down before getting up to fix the lines, working round the clock to get much of the state back on the grid. And be because of those winds calming down the way that they have, they're able to get up like you're seeing right now. National Grid telling me they're still in this assessment phase of how long it will take them uh, to get everything fully restored. So right now there's no estimate on when we'll get 100% uh, power restoration in our area. Of course, stay with us for that as we'll be following this throughout the day. We're live in Central Falls. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.